Hey guys, this is Dan Bell, and I think we can all use a little quiet time. Now, you may be wondering why my voice sounds so deep, and it is because I am currently dealing with a little bit of a scratchy, sore throat. But don't let that dismay you. We'll continue into the video, and you can listen to my scratchy, hoarse, deep voice. And, uh, I'll explain everything that we're seeing on my <laughs> computer on your screens. Let's get started. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is on Howard Street in Baltimore. And basically this day I wanted to go out and film, uh, some, or try to get into some of the old department stores on Howard Street. Howard Street in Baltimore used to be the shopping destination, uh, and th this was way back in the day. This building that we're currently in, or that you, you see right here, um, was probably built, um, in the late 19th century, and probably always served as a place where they sold goods. And you can see that's an elevator shaft right there. Uh, this particular building had four floors. But I do not know the history or anything else about this building besides the fact that it was in a very busy strip of Howard Street. Um, a busy strip for back in the day when it was a shopping district. And you can see, look at the roof. How'd you like to walk across that? Be a little scary. Um, I was curious when we drove by here, actually the, I've always tried to get in this building, but there was never a way in. And when we drove by here this time, um, the side door that had been boarded up, the door had been removed or the board had been removed. So we went ahead inside and, um, we, you know, we see all this, uh, that all the floors were removed. And I was very curious as to why that was. Um, I, I don't understand. I, I don't, it, it doesn't look like it collapsed. It looks like things were actually taken out, um, material like wood, like the floors and stuff. So, so who knows what happened here, but the floor, uh, if we weren't on these boards, we would definitely fall down into the basement. And here is the rear of a, another old department store building on Howard Street. And this one has collapsed. And you can see right here this uh, um, washer washing machine. So this could have been an area in the back of the store where maybe they laundered uh, clothing or they had a dry cleaner. And this one right here we're actually going to go into. And... The rear of this building is actually in better condition than the front part of the building, or the, the part that would face Howard Street. And we're going to go and look at that uh, in just a second here. You can see those uh, old drums sitting there. And I don't know how anyone hasn't taken those yet, but they almost look like they were dumped in here or something. So I don't know what... Uh, what they were doing in here, it's possible that they could have been stolen and then put in here uh, until someone could come and pick them up. It's a possibility. The, f the floors in here were, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the floors in here were a little uh, iffy and uh, so we were being careful. Now you see all those old, uh, over here, the old uh, clothes racks. And that's his gauge. So this was probably a gauge menswear. And uh, that is an old, that right there, that awning, is a very old retail, uh, way back in the day, retail fixture. Probably from the, uh, I would say, 50s or 60s. And here we're getting into the front part of the building, and this is the part that would face um, Howard Street. 
and it is incredibly uh, um, decayed is the word I'm looking for. Um, it looks like they had three levels in here. And again, it looks like it, there was a collapse. But then, oh, look at those tin ceilings. Aren't those incredible? That, no, no, that, that gives the age of the building. It helps age it or, or helps uh, give you a time period of when it was built. Uh, most of these buildings were done, you know, in the late 19th century. Some in the very early 20th century. But uh, these are dressing rooms here, and they look, or would appear to be, from the 50s, I would assume, uh, with the light fixtures and the pink uh, paint. So I think that this space here probably served several different li lives, um, or purposes, I should say, uh, and probably as as would be figured, um, because of the size of these buildings, um, as time went on and there were less shoppers, they would close the upper floors and they would just abandon them. And then they would put everything on the first floor and it would help save with energy costs. So instead of heating the whole building, they would just have to heat the first floor. Um, but that was when Howard Street was beginning to be whittled down to nothing and very unfortunate and here we have uh, an old lighting fixture probably I would say maybe not that old I would say maybe 50 years old could be older I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure but uh, here's this desk here with all these uh, 45's on it and that is a lamp there, one of those uh, horse lamps, or you have to look it up. They're, they were popular in the uh, in the fifties and sixties. Now here is an alleyway that we found. This is behind the China Doll Restaurant on Park Avenue in Baltimore, the abandoned uh, China Doll Restaurant. And someone had pried the board off this alleyway, and uh, we decided to go back and check it out. And uh, it was not pretty in here, or pleasant. The, the odor of urine was very strong. I think that uh, there was probably some poor soul living in the... <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> my throat is so. Um, there's probably some poor soul living up those uh, up that fire escape there in one of the the uh, in that building in the front. There was probably apartments up there at one time, and uh, somebody has gone up there to set up house, obviously with all the garbage. But um. We were not about to go up there and, and disturb anyone, so. But there was an open door up there, and there was, uh. There was some, uh. Um. Chairs and, and jugs of. Uh, look like jugs of water. So. Obviously, there's somebody living there. This would be very creepy at night. I was just thinking about that, how creepy it, it, this would be at night. But uh, I'm not going back at night. <laughs> but it, as far as Howard Street, there, there's still a lot of buildings down there that are abandoned, but they're kept up. And uh, like the old Hutzler's building and stuff like that, I'd love to get into there, into those buildings and look around. Because um, they are these are the original dead malls. They really are. Uh, this is, you know, these were malls before malls existed. So it's interesting to be able to go in and look at what once was. Um, but I am just fascinated with Howard Street in Baltimore. It's so much 
awesome history and theaters and it's just amazing if you if you go read about it anyway that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot guys <laughs>